Hey there, Rory McNicholas here, Propeller Digital Web Designer. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload files to a Webflow form without having to pay an extra $20 a month just to do that. So it's going to be a very simple button to upload a file and to receive that in your Webflow form submissions. Now you can do this inside of Webflow. However, you need to pay an extra $20 a month to do that. Now for the vast majority of our clients, the CMS flow, the CMS plan is fine. And maybe your client will be fine paying an extra $20 a month to just upload files. Maybe this is for a personal site as well, but you might not want to pay that. A client might not want to pay that just to upload files. Now you do need to use a pay plan. We need to add some code to do this, which you can't do on the free plan. So I'm going to quickly run you through how to upload files on a form on the CMS plan. Now we're going to do this using a service called Upload Care. Upload Care is free to use and they do have a pay plan. However, the free plan is very generous. They are going to give you 3000 uploads a month and three gigabytes of file storage to upload your files. If you do need to go above that, you can see here what you get for $20 a month. They increase that to 30 gigabytes. An additional gigabyte is only two and a half cents. On the business plan for Webflow, they're going to give you 10 gigabytes of file upload, but every additional gig is 50 cents, which is quite a bit more expensive. But for most people, for just you know simple file uploads, this is going to be fine. So you'll need to create a upload care account, which I've done here. I've created a free account and you're going to need to get an API key from here. You can also go over to their guide on how to do this, which I'm going to be going through here. I'll post the link in the description. So once you have your API key, you need to take this script here and you can either embed this across your Webflow site by going into custom code and uploading it here. However, that's going to load this code on every page across your site. And while that's not going to have a massive effect on speed, it is a script that needs to be loaded on every single page. So instead what you can do, I set up a very simple page here with a form on it. You can go to the page that you have your form on. It's called apply in my case. And we're going to go down to custom code inside head tag. And we're gonna paste that code here that we got from the custom code section here. And you'll see, we need to put in our public API key, which you get on your project page under API keys, copy it and paste it in like I've done here. So that's step one of two. The next thing we need to do is we need to add in an input field and put it inside our form. I've put a label above this, which I'm just calling upload your CV and I'm going to give this a class as well called Upload Care. And over on the guide, it's going to give us a custom attribute over here. And what we're gonna do is copy this part, Upload Care Uploader, go back over to Webflow, select our input field that we dragged in, go into element settings, and we're going to add a custom attribute. And the name is role, and the value is what we copied in. And this basically just tells the script that we added in that this is where we want our input field to be binded or to be linked to Upload Care's service. The other thing they then tell us to do is to hide this field because they're going to add in their own button for uploading files. That's why I've created this Upload Care class. I'm going to set that to hide and I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. And that's it. As we'll see, once this finishes publishing, we're gonna go over to our page and see how it looks. And you'll see we get this choose a file button. Now, if you have a different color scheme that isn't blue on your site, you can inspect this and you can add in some code to change it. So we have our CSS over here. I'm just gonna change this to green as an example. I'm gonna copy that code. I'm gonna go back into Webflow and open up my apply page and go into the settings. And I'm just going to add in some CSS here. So we'll call this tag style, paste that in, 
close the style tag. Now you would also need to add what color you want this to be on hover. Green is fine for now. This is just a very quick demo and we're going to click publish again and go back over to our apply page and reload. And there's our nice green button, which is hover on blue, but that's a tutorial for another day. So if we click that, we get this very useful interface here where we can select or drag and drop a file from our desktop. We can take a photo from our camera on our phone or our webcam on our computer. Very handy if this is for a profile picture upload as an example. And we have all these other links and integrations that people can take photos to. You can control these, you can add and remove them inside of your upload care account. I'm gonna leave them there for now. And I'm just gonna pick a random image off my desktop, a screenshot from earlier and it'll upload it. It'll give us the file name and the file size. Click Submit. Oh, I have to fill these out. Like so. Click Submit. And that's it. So the form is sent. If I go over to the email that I have set to receive my Webflow form submissions, we see that there is a new field added in here. And if I click that, it's going to take me directly to whatever they uploaded. Um, be it an image, be it a PDF, anything at all goes in there. We can also over on Upload Care, go to our files and see our file in here. And we can download them from here, we can delete them. Um, if you do go over the three gigabytes, you can just download all of these, delete them, keep them saved on your local computer, whatever you need to do. And that's it, we now have a fully working form on Webflow that takes a file upload, has a very nice interface and is saving us $20 a month. So that's all. If you found this useful, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and keep an eye out for my future videos on how to make the most out of Webflow.